Good morning, everyone. I welcome all the speakers and our distinguished audience for today's webinar on the topic, Swiss Technology for Manufacturing Home Textiles, brought to you by SwissMem in partnership with B Textile Magazine. By default, all the mic of all the attending audience would be on mute, but if any attending audience has a specific question, you can use the chat window to type in your question and we would uh, forward it to the speaker. He would either reply to you at the end of the webinar or if not after the webinar, they would get in touch with you directly. Today's webinar is also being recorded. So for people who are missing out on the webinar, can always watch it on YouTube or on LinkedIn or on SwissBem page that is also available. This is just for your information. In today's webinar, we have three leading manufacturers, namely Espritech, Santex Rima, and Stobli from Switzerland who are going to share new ideas and opportunities for mills working on home textiles. Without further ado, I would like to welcome Ms. Cornelia Buckfagel, who is the General Secretary of Swiss Textile Missionary Association, and she will take you through to today's webinar and introduce our speakers for today's session. Over to you, Cornelia. Ganesh, thank you very much. And it is also a pleasure for me to welcome everyone to this webinar. And we've just found out that we have participants from over 15 countries listening in. So um, that is a real pleasure. So Ganesh has already given a brief introduction, but I want to let you know about the Swiss Textile Machinery Association. We represent the interest of our 44 member companies that provide textile machinery, components, services, and support to the textile industry. To underline the competence of our 44 members, I just want to give you one key figure. And this is the combined experience of 4,077 years of uh, experience in the textile industry. So you see many of them have very long-standing reputation um, uh, in the textile industry. So when looking at our members, they offer solutions along the entire value chain, from cotton, yarn, fabric to shirt. Or if we take it in today's um, webinar, it's probably better say from cotton yarn to bed sheet or terry towel. So in order for today's presentation, we will start from the end of the textile chain. So we will start with folding machines, then go to the finishing process and into the weaving and weaving preparatory. So this now brings me to introduce you to our first speaker of today. Our first speaker is Mr. Philippe Ruedi. He works for Espritech and he will let you know more about his companies, who is in automated textile folding machinery. Mr. Riedi has a long reputation in the machine industry. He has been working for salts of, salts of pumps. Then he has been working for Benninger, where he got all his passion for, um, for the textile finishing, and he is now with Espritech. With Sulzer, he also worked in China for four years and he has traveled extensively in Asia Pacific and also in India and in the region where you might listen in from today. So with this, I hand over to Philip Reddy for his first presentation on folding machines. Yes, hello. A very good morning or a very good pre-launch time, I should say, to India and a good morning here from Europe. Thank you, Cornelia and Ganesh, for the opportunity to speak on this webinar. My name is Philip, representing Espitech, where we produce automated textile folding machines since many years. Sam Gerber, our CEO, has spent almost his entire professional career on this topic of textile folding. Over the years, he developed the full range of textile folders that I'm going to show you just in a minute. We are definitely a niche player in the textile machinery sector. We, uni we uniquely focus on providing the best textile folders to the home textile industry worldwide. India is currently the country with our biggest installed base 
and we have a service engineer located in Valpi. The title of my presentation is No Holding for Automated Textile Folding. Of course, that is a slightly provocative and has a double meaning. It refers to the increasing requirement of processing fabrics without touching them. Second, and of course more important, is the trend to more automated and maybe also integrated manufacturing methods in the textile industry. SPTEC machines provide solutions for both aspects. My presentation is divided into three parts. First, let me talk briefly what a folding machine actually is, as there are different types in the market. Second, I will go very quickly through our portfolio of machines. In the third part, I will touch the commercial aspects of automated folding and refer to some business models in which they can operate attractively. What is a folding machine? There are two aspects to it. One is the function and one is the purpose. It is difficult to control fabrics, as we all know, as they tend to behave in a chaotic way, as they provide little own stability. In a roll-to-roll -roll or sheet-to-sheet -sheet process, you can more or less control the material. But in folding, you have to let loose. You cannot fold if you keep the material fully controlled. Furthermore, precise results must be achieved continuously and fast. Why am I putting so much emphasis on this topic? The reason is, it cannot be done with mechanics alone. What we produce is more than just a 15 meter long mechanical Swiss watch. SPTEC combines several competencies to tackle the task. There is a lot of mechanics, for sure, as well as an elaborate electronic steering, about 30 motors, servo drives and linear motors, and about 250 sensors working combined with pneumatics. In order to secure good results, SPTEC provides a mechatronic machine. The second dimension is the purpose. We do not just reduce the format of home textiles. We also improve the look and the presentation quality of home textile products. Buying a folding machine should not only be looked at from an operational perspective. You should involve your marketing department. With attractive folding patterns, you can improve the presentation quality. You can also standardize your package formats and your logistic handling, which is often a cost driver. General features of our machines are all SPTEC machines fold to precisely defined measures. We offer various folding patterns, which can be individually optimized to your products. All our machines are built in modules which can be adapted to achieve individual requirements. All our machines are intuitive to handle, but I am also not hiding from you that they need an operator who can prog program the folding steps and he who really wants to get the most efficiency out of them. After that, the machines need no changeover nor further setup times. The folding modules position themselves to do the programmed task. So load them, select the program and let it run. Let me briefly, very briefly go through SPTEC's product portfolio. I start with the blue sapphire model, <clears throat> which is our apparel and small towels folder. It can also do kitchen towels and other flat products for garments. The capacity of the blue sapphire can reach up to 1050 folded items per hour, which with only one operator. If I count right, this is more than 17 units per minute. The next model would be the black opal. Next slide, please. Thank you. Which is dedicated for terry towel folding. Towel folding is one of the most challenging tasks for us because the, fabrics is, the fabric is thick and tends to skewing, even worse is that it tends to bow in the folding process itself. SPTEC has developed folding patterns which can eliminate 
or at least hide these problems. For sizes above 70 centimeters, we can fold up to 1050 with one operator. For sizes below 70 centimeters, we have a parallel feeding option, which you can see on the picture on the bottom right. And then the production can go up to 1,800 pieces per hour folded. The white sapphire is another dedicated machine for pillowcase folding and other small flat products. The machine can do single or pair folding and it can reach up to 1,440 pieces folded per hour, which is actually quite a brutal speed. Not our most flexible one, but definitely one with an extremely high output. The red diamond is the first one of our diamond line. These are the wider machines. They usually have a laser, which helps product placement on the feeding table, which is important for best folding quality. This machine can do flat sheets or flat products but I would say it's mainly dedicated to fitted sheets. Personally, I struggle five minutes to fold even one manually with the red diamond. You can reach up to nine fitted sheets folded per minute. The folding pattern here is inside fold. Next one, please. The white diamond is a very versatile folder that can fold many types of flat products like flat sheets and duvet covers, curtains with soft eyelets and blankets. The folding pattern is inside fold or border across. Capacity is up to 550 units per hour or 180 sets per hour. So this is a machine which specifically, specifically combines high output with the ability to improve the product presentation it can perfectly place the border of a fabric on the face side across of the final package. The white diamond is also available as a set making machine. That means nothing else that the machine continuously changes the folding process for each item that you load. So you can load, for example, a flat sheet first, then a fitted sheet, and finally two pillowcases and the machine will combine and assemble them into a set. The black diamond, last but not least, this is simply the mother of all folding machines, I would say. To my knowledge, it is the most versatile folder available in the market worldwide. Features are similar as with the white diamond, but it has a 90 degree turned in feet table, as you can see. This enables it especially to create the attractive border all around folding pattern. It can also do curtains, even with hard eyelets, and it will fold the curtains so that these eyelets never touch each other or damage themselves. This is Espritec's most advanced and versatile folder, giving maximum flexibility. We also sell it to high quality producers, which focus on handling smaller load sizes, but with a higher degree of product present personalization. Also the black diamond is available in a set version. Let me talk about our specialities. Set making, as explained before, you can see here an example on top right of this page. So that's what the machine has produced. I should mention we have several cardboard inserters which can handle different formats like standard book fold or box fold. The one on the picture is a box fold. Unlike manual folding, we do not need the cardboard to find the folded dimensions. That's actually what you do in manual folding. Leaving away the cardboard can be a way to add sustainability to your product. The motive function, please watch the video uploaded on my LinkedIn profile yesterday. It is a feature that is mainly used for digital printed fabrics where you have motifs and you want to show them the motifs exactly on the top face of your final package. It looks easy, but actually there is a lot behind it. 
in collaboration with Smart MRT from Singapore, we can offer a solution for color shading issues by keeping similarly shaded fabrics together. Smart MRT provides hanger systems within the textile finishing production, and they also secure that we have enough fabrics in front of our folders. We can do rolling instead of cross-folding, if that's wished. Together with our alliance partner, Magatron from Italy, we can offer integrated solutions by linking, sewing, and folding into one process. The two machines will communicate and synchronize themselves. The transfer table can be moved away easily, so the two machines can still operate independently, if you wish so. With special modules, we can also handle semi-permeable fabrics, so airtight or semi-airtight or semi-watertight. The next slide, it, in the, if the opacity of the fabric is too high and you have shine through issues, like on the example on the left, you see the two lines between going through between the eyes of, the, of this animal, uh, Espritech can also help you by placing a cardboard directly under the very first fabric layer. This is different in manual folding where the cardboard is placed deeper in the package and so the problem remains. This is a problem that you actually can only solve with an automated folding machine. So that brings me to the summary slide, which by time reasons I'm not going to read through. But I think it should be clear by now that automation for folding home textiles is available and ready, actually for quite some time now. We provide sturdy and reliable machines developed and built with the experience of many years. On the other hand, we think that the potential to increase the installed base is still very big. I guess all this passion for the technical side is one thing, but the decision for more investments is rather made on the commercial side. And that brings me to the second part of my presentation. What is the financial benefit of using automated folding machines? As with any automation project, they require investment first in order to open the door for efficiency gains. The commercial parameters. The cracker here is automated folding is always cheaper than manual folding, even in low cost countries. I'm talking about the cost per fold in a full cost comparison. You can expect more than 50% cost reduction per fold compared to manual folding. That is not the problem. Even when we talk based on extremely low monthly salaries. However, payback duration can be an issue in low cost countries. We are talking extremely small cost per fold and you may have to do many folds to get the payback of a high-tech folder. It also depends on the setup and if you are willing to go into shift production. What I can say here is that we are usually around the payback of 20% of the technical lifespan of an SPTEC folding machine for projects in India. We do have the models and calculate them for every quote. So the commercial success of our machines is very important to us. Now imagine a country with high labor cost. There the payback is absolutely no issue. It will be truly short, much shorter than in India. Please bear in mind that automation enables countries with high labor cost to produce at the level of low cost countries. So the question becomes, is it or is it not beneficial for India to further invest into automated process, processes like folding? This slide information is from the World Bank and the IMF, and it foresees India to become number three country measured by GDP in 2024. Okay, on this slide, there is a big gap between 2008 
big time gap, I mean, between 2008 and 2024. So let us go to the next slide, which shows the situation in 2020. Here we can see that India has already closed up to position number six, but still five times smaller than China. If you want to go to number six, you need basically to double the GDP. So if India is expected to catch up and to close up to China and the US within just a few years, it is really to, is it really expected that this will have no impact on the labor cost and the availability of high numbers of cheap labor in your country? The question is, what does this projected growth mean for the labor cost in India? And what are the options and business models that you can use to continue to operate your really high volume production in such a scenario? From our perspective, we see as a folding machine producer, we see two major base models. The model for the high cost countries, they have low to medium volume, smaller lot sizes, high flexibility in production. Few producers have ultra high volume for three shifts. Their lot sizes are small. So as a result, flexibility is king. I, don't, I do not think that is the preferred model for the key players in India. What India and other low cost countries require are solutions to tackle high volume with high efficiency. What are possible options for the labor intense part of textile finishing in India? The first scenario is the present status quo. Stay with manual processing. That would mean avoid initial investment. Okay, that's positive. Uh, keep high labor force, face salary increases and issues of low efficiency. Suffer large stocks between process steps and therefore ongoing high networking capital, requirement, capital requirements. The second scenario, replace labor with machines. This requires, already this requires a mindset change. I'm talking about, you need to program machines and you need to program the production flow. It also means machine maintenance and working in shifts to make best use of capital investments. It means good relationship with machine vendors because they provide the machinery that it is, that it is the new heart of your process. Efficiency gains can be substantial though. I give you an example. We recently had a customer in Europe who bought one SPTEC folder and he replaced 15 manual folders with two operators on the machine. That is a ratio of more than one to seven. Now imagine that in a three shift scenario, Imagine reducing workforce by 39 people per machine, while most of the big producers in India will have volume for several machines. We are really talking big impacts here. Imagine the salary increases in the coming years versus the stable cost of the automated equipment. The gap will widen in the coming years, and that needs also to be considered in the business model and in the investment decision. In all truthfulness, we think there is a huge opportunity here, but that's not even the full potential. Let's go to scenario number three, process integration. Here we are talking about optimizing the entire textile finishing production by using integrated or at least semi-integrated production processes. Of course, this needs a full change of the production mindset. It will eliminate most of the networking capital tied in production. And by that, it will help you to finance the initial investment. We see new projects going into that direction, extension projects now, but the potential still remains mostly untapped. Higher throughput at reduced labor cost and less networking capital must be the goal of any home textile manufacturer. 
Then we are talking of balanced production in the entire labor intensive part of textile finishing, not only folding. That is one reason why we collaborate, or Espritech collaborates with other companies to cover the entire textile finishing process. We have strong relations with Parker Hauser for cutting, Magetron for sewing, and Smart MRT for the hanger systems. These are the trends and opportunities that automation make possible and where we still see big potential all over the world, not only in India, of course. And that is why we aim at transforming the textile production with the most advanced digital folding machines. And that is why we predict no holding for automated textile folding. I hope I could bring over some information about our machines and our passion for textile folding. If you have any question, please contact me over any channel. Contact me also via LinkedIn, where we will publish more information on our folding machines soon. Please stay safe and thank you for having me. With that, I would like to give back to Cornelia. Thank you, Philip. That was a very passionate presentation about, uh, about folding. And I'm happy to hand over to the next Philip in the round. So to Philip, Stoible from Santex Rima. Philip, he has a diploma in higher education in textile finishing from the Swiss Textile College. He's been working in this in our industry for almost 20 years now, and he has worked for several companies in Switzerland, including manufacturers for technical textiles, home textiles, and filtration components. He joined Santex Remar just some months ago in October 2020, and he'll take you through his presentation now. Thank you, Philip. Hello, everybody. First of all, I would like to thank you for the opportunity to speak to you about our Santa Frame. And of course, I would like to give you an overview over the whole group. On behalf of the whole Santix Rima group, I would like to welcome you to this webinar organized by the textile magazine and Swissman. My name is Philipp Stäuble and I'm your speaker today. Next, please. <clears throat> Santix Rima group is one of the leading players in the world market of textile machinery manufacturers for weaving, textile finishing, technical textiles and green technologies for water treatment and drying processes. Modern technology, knowledge, and many years of experience make Santex Rima Group a provider of innovative solutions. We guarantee an excellent level of competence at each stage of the product life cycle. Our machines are made with competence, passion, commitment, and a high level of research. Next, please. Smith is globally recognized as a forerunner in weaving technology and is a manufacturer of weaving machines and renowned for its high standard levels of innovation, productivity and versatility, ensuring competitiveness throughout a large variety of applications. With more than 50 years of experience, Isotex offers not only a wide range of products, but also innovative and customized solutions. Santex is at the forefront of technology for textile finishing of knitted fabrics, such as cotton, blended cotton and viscose. The goal of Santex is maximizing performance at low energy to achieve low residual shrinkage, soft hand feel and luster on surfaces of textiles. Many of the most world famous fashion houses are relying on the know-how of Santex, which was founded in Switzerland in 1982. Santex offers specialized machines for open width fabric surface treatment, as well as various energy saving options, which results in customer benefits through a sustainable production and low CO2 values. Sperotto Rimar is known to be a leading manufacturer of textile finishing machines with a sound knowledge of the woven fabrics finishing process. Cavitec is a pre-prec and hot melt and coating machines manufacturer based in Tobel. Solva is a sludge dryer manufacturer, which technology offers green innovative solutions in different fields of water treatment for human and agricultural needs and for food and waste dehydration processes. 
using and producing renewable energies. Next slide, please. Santex Rima Group is present in various countries with four factories and more than 30,000 customers throughout the, the world to whom we offer specific solution and services in order to become the reference point of excellence. Being close to local markets and employing local manpower allows us to be competitive and to offer our heritage of craftsmanship to global trade. Our know-how enables us to understand and fulfill the needs of our global customers, to whom we offer not only high quality machines, but also good and punctual after-sales service. Next slide, please. Now let us get a closer look into the Santex product range. The process of hydro extracting and folding of tubular knits is quite frequently used as a combination of machines comprising and centrifugal hydro extractor or also a simple squeezing extractor with a wet plating machine. Centrifuging causes creases and wrinkles. These experiences in the practice induced Santex to develop the extracting and wet compacting machine known as Santa Stretch, which not only solves the problem but also brings two semi-continuous operations into a single continuous processing step. The technically and economically future-oriented design of Santa Shrink brings a number of application advantages for the operation which show up in excellent textile results. Santa Shrink is used for the shrinkage, relaxation and tensionless drying of tubular or open width knitted fabrics. Nozzles with large volumes of air enable the water to be heated very quick to the evaporation point. The knitted fabrics coming completely relaxed from the shrink dryer can be guided to the Santa spread steaming and compacting calendar guided through the specially designed magnetic spreader Albatross. Next slide, please. The standard version of the Santa shrink series serves as the basis for the Santa shrink progress machine, which is usually equipped with three or more drying chambers. Pin frame entry for width stretching and wet compacting as preparation of the fabrics prior to drying offers an unequaled quality gains. The equalizing frame, which features a needle chain, is the most important part of the extended inlet. The total length of 5.345 meters includes a horizontal swiveling section of 4.5 meters, which permits gentle opening and overstretching of fabric. The inlet can be of very simple design with a centering device and a feeding support. In general, a dewatering pedder is provided and in most cases also an impregnating pedder. Santa Compact RD is suitable for fabrics made of natural and man-made fibers as it provides the minimum possible residual shrinkage values in the compacting zones and delicate handling of fabric through the machine. Electronic force measuring rollers are at every regulation position providing total control over fabric tension, extremely gentle fabric handling and allowing settings to be stored in a recipe for added repeatability. At the heart of the Santa Synpact's incredible performance is how the rubber shrinking unit and specially dimensioned felt compacting unit work together to double both the sanferizing performance and speed over standard compactors. Next slide, please. High performance and precision in terms of efficiency and uniformity of treatment assures customer value and quick return on investment. With its design and thermal insulation, the Santa frame ensures cost savings in comparison to conventional stenture designs. The performance and production of the Santa frame is based on continual development using the latest advances in thermodynamics allied to the changing need of customers. Next slide, please. Here you see a sample layout of a Santa frame with all its parts and options, starting at the inlet with the feeding frame, padding machine with an optional chemical tank. The operating platform leads to the entry of the stenter frame. Attachments can be a steaming zone, edge gluing devices or edge cutting devices and a weft straightening unit. Followed by the chambers and cooling zone, 
the exit unit can have a J-box and a periphery winder or a plater. Of course, the Santa frame will be delivered with an electrical cabinet. Next slide, please. Next slide, thank you. The Santa frame, sorry. Yeah, thanks. Santa frame advantages are as follows. Unsurpassed uniformity of the air and heat distribution throughout the two meter long chamber modules, which circulating air fan and heating element unequally positioned in sealed chamber above the fabric track. This arrangement eliminates the risk of condensation dripping onto the fabric. Positioning the heat source on the pressure side significantly increases the evaporation rate without any change in energy consumption due to the higher air speed and specially designed nozzles. Excellent quality of the treatment fabric due to the suitably designed AeroSurf nozzle system promotes even treatment, excellent residual shrinkage and softest handle for sensitive fabrics. Minimal combustion residue by utilizing semi-indirect gas heating as an alternative to thermal oil heating during the heat setting or curing processes. Increased performance and precise temperature control during processing without any energy loss by introducing bulkhead zones at the inlet and outlet. Savings in energy consumption as a result of a specially designed built-in exhaust air circulation duct, which in combination with heat recovery units reduce installation costs. Reduced machine service and maintenance with less time required for cleaning the retractable nozzles ease of access to the heat exchangers and the exhaust air ducts which are located inside of the frame. The smart safe button is pressed by the operator whenever the dryer does not run with fabric for a longer period. The main reason for an empty center frame is the gap in the organization of fabric lots. The fabric does not arrive on time from the wet processing department and the center frame runs idle, thus blowing away huge amounts of energy in the meantime. Just with a single push of the button, the center frame immediately reduces the energy consumption to a minimal level by closing heating valves and reducing the electrical consumption. The normal running parameters of the center frame are restored automatically by pressing the button again. Next slide. The modular two meter long chamber design <coughs> allows complete pre shipment assembly, cabling, drive assembly and installation of the selected electronic control system before the machine is dispatched. The result, highest quality assured standard of all delivered machines. The design of the Santa frame provides effective insulation and does not require floor foundations or for installation. Bulkhead zones at the inlet and outlet of the treatment chambers form the drying and heat setting zone. The bulkhead zones feature an automatic slot cover on the width adjustment at the fabric inlet and outlet, as well as an integrated exhaust air collection duct for the connection of exhaust air fan. Next slide. The circulating air fan draws the air from the nozzle and treatment zone through the filter panels and directs it along a short path to the heat exchanger, from where it is fed into the nozzles. A regulating flap in front of the nozzle boxes allows the top and bottom airflow to be continuously adjusted. The arrangement of the heat source on the pressure side of the circulating air fan allows for a high air circulation speed and hence a higher drying capacity. The result is energy saving and cost reduction in the drying and heat setting of textile fabrics. When the pin chain stops, the hot airflow <coughs> into the nozzles is immediately diverted by pneumatically operated bypass flaps that close completely. The hot air is routed into a bypass where the process temperature is maintained. Once production restarts, there is no need to reheat the circulating air and fabric treatment resumes under optimum conditions at the required production speed. With semi-indirect gas heating, the flames are located in a combustion chamber Hot air is introduced to the circulating air via a large perforated distribution pipe, which ensures a very even temperature distribution. 
conventional systems heat the recirculating air oven the open flame of the gas burner. Next slide. The filter screens located above the nozzles simplify cleaning even while the center frame is running. <clears throat> the exhaust air collection duct is integrated into the lower part of the thermal processing chamber. Doors allow easy access for the adjustment of the exhaust air volume and cleaning of the exhaust air duct. And next slide. Ring-shaped openings around each guide pipe ensures the controlled and turbulence-free return of air to the circulating air fans. As a result of the special nozzle design, the fabric serves on an air cushion, giving textiles a soft voluminous handle and excellent residual shrinkage. As an alternative to aeroserve nozzles, simple hole type nozzles can be fitted for the finishing of woven fabrics or slotted nozzles for the swirl free treatment of pile articles. Santa frame contain nozzle boxes which are tapered on one side, inside which the nozzle plates are inserted. These nozzle plates can be easily removed for cleaning. Next slide. Individual drives on the spindle type with adjustment system within thermal zone of the Santa frame guarantees accurate width adjustment, ensuring flexible stretching of goods being treated and can be programmed automatically from a central location. Fabric transport chains are equipped as standard with independent frequency control drives that can be run either synchronized or offset. Next slide. The horizontal transport chain is designed as gliding chain with high wear resistance, requiring very little maintenance. Chain links are made from high grade durable peak material or with ball bearing when processing heavier fabrics that require a higher pulling tension. The carrier parts can be supplied with pin plates, either with or without depinning protection, or as a combined pin clip or clip only. Depending on the requirement, special pin bars and clip types are available on request. Next slide. One driven spreading roller is located in front of each trough. Two other spreading rollers ensure optimal uncurling of the selvage before the fabric enters the nip section. The impregnating trough with 65 liters content can be lowered for ease of cleaning. A displacer is installed to minimize the trough liquor content. The compartments are made entirely of stainless steel. Each squeezing unit consists of two rollers with 292 millimeters in diameter with rubber coatings specially developed for Zantex in accordance with the pedder's function. One is in a fixed position in the machine frame, supported by strong roller bearings, whilst the other is movable and can, can be positioned by means of pneumatic cylinders. These units are designed with center-supported rollers to ensure linear pressure remains constant across the entire width. The maximum linear pressure is about 500 Newton per centimeter. A short controlled fabric path endures minimum elongation of the fabric web. Options can be a heated chemical tank and or trough and rapid trough draining. And next slide. Suntex can offer various entry and exit configurations, such as unbatching systems for the most tension sensitive and less delicate qualities, unbatching systems for die beams, centering devices for knits and or woven fabrics, patterns for the most diverse dewatering and impregnating processes. Automatic weft straighteners are available from reputable European manufacturers. Non-stop entry and exit options with either fabric troughs or storage compensators. Batching systems for the most tension sensitive and less delicate qualities. Batching systems for die beams or various exit combinations with plater. Special requests for fabric entry and or exit can be offered. Next slide. 
the automatic process control and regulation with customized programs containing all the parameters associated with the finishing operation, setup and control require minimal operator input, thus affording greater operator freedom for observation, preparation and any final adjustments. These systems administer the production data, incorporating production planning, quality assurance, as well as facilitating remote support, maintenance and diagnostics. Santa Vision hardware and software supports process visualization. Stored program control provides optimal solutions for the automation, communication, data processing and storage on machines manufactured by Santex. Santa Vision is installed on an industrial computer communicating with a PLC controller connected to the machine. Next slide. I'm here with already at the end of our presentation and I would like to thank you for your attendance. For further information, please get in touch with us. Thank you all, stay safe and hope to see you soon. Thank you very much, Philip, for letting us know about Santa Frame. So I think everyone now has a much better view on what Santa Frame can do. And that brings me to the third speaker of today's webinar from the company Stäubli. Stäubli, I guess many of you or most of you must know, is, is the global and well-known leader for various mechatronic systems in textiles, especially in drawing in and in warp time machines, as well as shedding motions like shakar machines, lobbies. And Stefan, Stefan Mullis, he's the area sales manager responsible for India and with 15 years experience in the textile machinery industry with focus on various textiles such as technical textiles, but also home textiles. Stefan, please. Thank you very much, Cornelia. Thank you, Swissman, for the opportunity pre to present here. And thank you, Ganesh and the Textile Magazine for, to make this happen and uh, to take everybody on that journey through your home with Stäubli. Um, to refer to Cornelia's initial words, um, as you can imagine, Stäubli uh, participated on about 3% to the 4,000 years of uh, Swiss textile experience. And myself, I'm part of it for about a percent with life experience and a half percent in the textile business. So um, let's start this journey through your home in your bedroom. Uh, next slide, please. And in the bedroom, to manufacture these products, you need warp time machines, you need dobbies, and you need drawing in machines. And uh, to weave this high-end bed sheet fabrics, for example, it starts with an automated drawing in, for example, on a software machine, a 60, which uh, gives you this high-performance drawing in machine, provides you the flexibility you need to prepare quickly the harness for your weaving and uh, to reduce the downtime and increase the overall uh, weaving mill performance. And Automation in textile business is crucial. This was already explained by Philip Rudy initially in the first presentation why you should automate your processes because of the rising salary costs. So software here would be the perfect match um, for your weaving preparation. Next slide, please. In the bathroom, um, next. So after when you woke up, you go to the bathroom. And here in the bathroom, um, for Terry application and highest flexibility designs, you need a single end control on your chocolate machine. And with our LXL chocolate machine, for example, um, you can reach weaving speeds up to 700 RPM on 2.8 meter width and uh, almost uh, up to 600 RPM at 340 centimeter or 3.4 meter width. And this is a today's standard in India and not nothing written on the data sheet, but this is in production in India 24 seven. So you get this high capacity. And as I already said, the full flexibility, if you have a single end control 
you can vary the width, the, the shape, the, the design of all your um, towels. Next slide, please. To, to start the day, of course, you need a good breakfast. You will go in the kitchen. Um, you have these nice napkins and uh, handkerchiefs. Um, these designs, pattern design, you use a, a rotary dobby, of course, on your weaving machine. And you have the maximum flexibility and performance in the weaving with our um, S3260 series dobbies for air jet weaving and our S3060 series for rapier weaving machines. Um, on, the, uh, on the rapier we do up to 20 frames, of course, as you know, and up to uh, 1000 RPMs can be achieved with our dobbies on, uh, on air jet and uh, weaving machines. Right. Next slide, please. Outdoor, let's go outdoor after breakfast. And as you can see, um, Sharpie provides solutions for carpet weaving, for example, for wall to wall carpets or rock carpets, um, high or low pile, high density carpets, and uh, lightweight requirements also for aircraft industry, automotive, tran general transportation, and uh, as well for first class cricket fields, for example. You can use our carpet machines um, from Schö also known as Schoenherr carpet systems. Of course, um, uh, sun blinds, sunshade fabrics um, use the uh, Stäubli cam motion on drawing in machines. This shapes the portfolio of all our products. Next slide, please. Going back in the living room. Next slide, please. Um, to, for upholstery industry, um, curtain industry, all these things. Also, let me talk about the warp tying. Here we have the revolutionary Thai Pro warp tying machine, which is now well introduced in the Indian market uh, in home textiles. And this is the revolution here is in the separation of the yarn ends and uh, this separation now is done with spindles, no more with needles. So irrespective of the yarn shape, yarn size, you use the same spindles. There is no more need of uh, changing the individual needles. This machine has way less mechanical parts than the traditional machine. So this results in easier maintenance. You don't need to make any more oil bath on these type of machines. So the availability in the weaving shed is higher. And of course, um, the operation is state of the art. It's easier to operate. Training can be reduced or even uns less skilled operators can handle this type of machine. And some uh, story, success story on this in these special times. For example, we did an installation in a country in Europe where we could not travel. And this tying machine is now tying without installation of a service technician. So this should explain the ease of operate for such a machine um, in your weaving mill. Next slide, please. Yes, I'm, I picked up the time and uh, whatever the woven home textile, we have a solution which helps you to increase performance, to increase efficiency and to automate your solution. And the next, and of course, next slide, and of course, we are a family, Stäuble is a family owned business. We have a product range family and we can help your family also for every woven product and uh, at home, in the transport, in the apparel sector. And this is all um, catered by Stäuble. So thanks very much for attending. Next slide. Here you have the email. Uh, Missed one, sorry, I put it on the last. As you know, Stäuble is uh, active in um, many, many countries across the globe. We have uh, 5,500 uh, uh, employees. We have uh, 1,500 engineers in field service. Overall, we are split in um, three, we have three activities split into four division and textile is the source of this uh, fantastic company. So next slide. Thanks very much for your attention. Um, thanks for sharing your time. Please reach out if you have any question. 
to our office in India or directly to me through social media, whatever. And I wish to everybody now a happy Mahashivratri. I hope I spelled it right and have a good public holiday to the people in India and to the rest of the world. Have a good day and thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you, oh. Stefan. I give to Ganesh, I give the word back to Ganesh um, to say some words and to check if there were Q&As coming in. So Ganesh, please. Uh, yes, uh, since we have time, uh, we could take in a few questions. There are a couple of questions flowing in from our audience. I have questions for all the speakers over here. Let me start with Mr. Rudy. The first question to you, Mr. Rudy, is why are SP Tech machines still produced in Switzerland? Um, thank you for the question. Uh, as explained, our machines are loaded with high-tech parts and combine several technical competencies. We cannot compromise on the flexibility and reliability of our sub-suppliers. So we need easy and short sourcing channels, which we still have here in Europe. Most quality components will also not be cheaper if sourced globally, as long as we want to buy and provide best quality. And as mentioned, more and more we work at the heart of the processes of your customers, of our customers. The automated machinery in your processes defines the rhythm of the production. It becomes something like a pacemaker in your production. So do you want to compromise on a pacemaker component? We could maybe use cheaper components, but I think it's not advisable neither for SPTEC nor for our customers. So in effect, we still feel that we have the best location to provide our customers with quality machinery. Please consider qualitative aspects in your investment decisions. What costs less at the beginning may not be cheaper at the end. That's our philosophy. All right. Uh, thanks for replying, Mr. Rudy. Mr. Rudy, I have one more question for you from the audience. Uh, the question is, if a machine can fold 1,440 pieces per rubber, why only 180 sets are produced by a set folding machine? Okay, the 1,440, that's for the pillowcase machine. So that's a machine that doesn't make sets. When we, I mean, it depends on the situation. When we talk of sets, we talk of four items. As I said, one flat sheet, one fitted, two pillowcases. That's four items. So each of them is one piece. And uh, that's an average. So you ca in the set making, you can combine up to six elements or six pieces. So we have to be careful with these numbers. So that's why I'm saying up to, but it depends on the real case. With, right. the, with the pillowcase machine, you, you went to an extreme uh, machine. Um, the, the others, the set making machines, they make maybe 550 items per hour. All right, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rudy. My next question uh, is to Mr. Starbley of Sound Petrima. Uh, could you please explain the exhaust air collection more in detail? <clears throat> okay, thank you. Thank you for the question. Um, as I said, the exhaust air collection duct is, is uh, integrated into the lower part of our thermal processing chamber. So the fresh air is introduced at both entrance and exit of the thermozones. And then the circulating air enters the internal exhaust air collection duct. This one is located in the center of the thermal process zone. When compared to the, to the cross flow, parallel flow, or the simple counter flow principle, so the energy consumption is greatly reduced with, uh, with the exhaust air collection directly into the processing chamber. All right, uh, thank you, Mr. Stobley. Mr. Stobley, I have another question for you. What is the heat requirement in kilocalorie per kg of fabric, and how much is the moisture in the fabric after impregnation on stenter? 
thank you for the question as well. So this one is not so not so um, I would say not so easy to answer because it depends it depends really on the fabric and it depends on the on the on the surroundings as well. So we can we can calculate it. This would be no problem. I have all the we have all the numbers ready, but not so easy just to give a number here right now. All right. So I would be I would be glad to I would be glad to answer it afterwards. This would be no problem. Sure, Mr. Strobley, we will share the details of the customer or the audience with you and you can that take it forward with them. Yeah. Sure. Uh, my next question is with Mr. Mullis. I have a couple of questions for you. The first question is, do you have a shedding motion capable of running 1000 plus RPMs for wider width of 340 centimeter looms for bed sheeting fabric? Good question. <laughs> um, I think this this question has to be answered later because um, actually I'm we in Switzerland produce the weaving preparation systems. The shedding motions are produced in France, and I'm not too much into these details. What I can say is um, the cam motions uh, we have running at very high speed, um, almost up to 1,500 RPM in production, and the 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 dobbies at 1000 rpm in production so um, i think basically at the end it's the weaving machine which makes this it is relying on the width the the dobby can handle the the speed what the weaving machine can provide so it's probably rather a question to the weaving machine manufacturer than to Stäuble offering the shedding motion for it mr Mullis, i have one more question for you an audience wants to know where to see technical data on Stobley uh, Dobbies. Um, of course, on the web page we have the data, or you can uh, ask for the data sheets. Um, also, we will reach out to get in touch with you with the with the respective customer afterwards um, to send him these details. And on the Dobby itself, at least there is a nameplate. Um, Nowadays, also with the QR code, which leads to the information of this uh, specific Dobby. I don't know if this answers the question, but definitely afterwards we can follow up with with that. Sure, Mr. Mullis. Thank you so much. We will share the details of the questionnaire at the audience with all the speakers so that you can take it in detail with them after the webinar. Uh, Cornelia, would you like to say something? Oh, I would also just like to say thank you to the speakers for bringing their solution in home textile to us, to you, Ganesh, from the Textile Magazine for organizing, and of course to all the audience uh, who was listening in, either very early in the morning in Europe or around lunchtime in India. So I would maybe take the word of Stefan Muli's presentation on taking us through the home. So I guess for you in India, I wish you a good lunch break and for us in Europe, maybe a good breakfast now. And um, yes, thank you very much to everyone. Before we leave, uh, let me just thank everyone attending today's webinar. I thank our speakers, Mr. Philip Rudy of Esprit Tech, Mr. Philip Stobley of Santex Rima, and Mr. Stephen Mullers of Starbly, and a very special thanks to Ms. Cornelia and Swissmum Association for this webinar on home textiles. Very soon we'll be announcing our next webinar session. So until then, stay tuned and stay safe. This is Ganesh Kalidasan signing out. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs>